Benjamin Newman, who is a professor and a chair of biological sciences at Texas A&M University. He joins me now live from Texarkana in Texas. Uh, Dr. Newman, thank you for joining us on the program here. Uh, first off, the death toll as it stands now is nine with 440 confirmed cases. Clearly the virus is spreading, but at this point the number of those affected is still very small, especially if you put it into the context of the number of people who die globally from the flu, which according to the WHO is in the hundreds of thousands. So should we be so concerned about this unknown virus or do you think the seriousness uh, is being blown out of proportion at this point? You can say that about almost any virus infection, I think. So if you look at the Ebola virus even, the number of cases of people who are actually infected with that and die from that is fairly small compared to the number who die from the flu every year. Why we worry about these viruses is their ability to spread very quickly and the high case fatality rate. So if you compare the number of people who have died from this virus and the number of people who have been released from the hospital who are better from the virus, it's sitting right now somewhere between about 10 and 20%. So kind of intermediate between SARS and uh, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, MERS. But I think the other thing to uh, point out with these numbers is that everything that we're seeing right now is about one to two weeks delayed. Uh, normal coronavirus infection would take somewhere between seven and 10 days to start showing symptoms inside of a person. And so a lot of the measures aimed at uh, cracking down on movement of people and enhanced screening of people have taken place in the last week, which is before this last, um, uh, all the cases that are coming out would have been infected. And so um, the real test of how the response is doing is going to come in the next week or two, as we see whether the number of cases levels off at a sustainable level and then starts to go down or whether it continues to rise. That'll tell us whether these measures are working. Okay. Now, uh the meeting with the World organization, that's another interesting thing. They're considering nominating this as a uh, public health emergency of international concern. What that would do is open up money, uh, mostly funding, and a little bit of manpower to come into China. I'm not a member of the committee that votes, and so I don't know what they're going to do, but it's probably unlikely that they will actually vote it a PHEIC at the moment. Because, in part, I think China would probably like a chance to deal with this on their own before it spreads. Now they may decide that it's spread a little bit too fast, and um, that will guide their decision making, and we'll have to see tomorrow what they come up with. So the China Disease Control Center says the virus is adapting and mutating. What does that mean for uh, finding a treatment for it? It makes it a little bit more difficult. So. Every time the virus mutates, it potentially changes one of the ways that our immune system can recognize it. And we build vaccines and a lot of treatments based on the virus staying the same constantly. This is a group of viruses, coronaviruses, that's always on the move. These things change from day to day and are a moving target, which is one of the hardest ones to hit. And so this is going to be a real challenge. Now, the other part of the challenge is that there were candidate vaccines and treatments ready for SARS and even starting to come out for MERS. But because this virus is just different enough, it has about 6,400 differences compared to SARS, we can't be sure that any of those would work. And most likely, it means going back to the drawing board in terms of the molecular biology to try and understand exactly how this particular virus causes disease. It'll have all the same basic parts as SARS and the same basic uh, sort of scheme, but the individual solutions are going to be completely new and completely different, unfortunately, and that'll take some time. All right, we'll leave it there. Benjamin Newman joining, joining us from Texarkana in Texas. Thank you, Dr. Newman.